Well, I would say that most of the time, the market gets it right. So when things are trading really cheap, usually they're trading really cheap for really good reasons. You know, so, I mean, capitalism is brutal. Very few things will last for a long time. Everything, almost everything will go into a decline eventually. And it's this creative destruction that goes on. So even, even when we look at a business like Apple, which people would not say is distressed, you know, I don't think that the Apple franchise has any issues for 10 years. I think it's probably bulletproof. But I don't know if I can make that statement about 20 years. You know, I mean, a lot can happen between year 10 and year 20. We've seen in technology so many changes happen. It's possible Apple is still doing well 20 years from now. But that's not a bet I'd be willing to make. You know, I think it'd be, to me, with my little brain way of thinking about it, it kind of becomes a hard problem to try to figure out what happens 11 year, year 11 to 11, year 30 at Apple, for example. So I, I think that like the example I gave on the auto business, you know, I thought that was a done business, done industry, done business. And it turned out that there was a massive vein of opportunity at that time. I mean, eventually the 60, 70 million that we had invested, if we had kept Ferrari, that becomes about 400 million. And then Fiat Chrysler becomes another 300 million or so. You know, it's a 10X in 10 years kind of thing out of the stupid auto business. And so I think it's the way to look at it is that I think we will not have some kind of a high conviction view on most things that are distressed. You know, we will usually not have, but sometimes, you know, you want to take a flyer on something and just spend some time digging it. Not with the idea that you think you're going to find some, you know, rich vein of opportunity, just from the perspective of learning. You know, initially my my work on GM was simply focused on learning. I wasn't actually wanting to make an investment. I just wanted to prove that Ted and David were being stupid. And it turned out they weren't being stupid. You know, so sometimes when you see disconfirming evidence, it's really good to dig in when you see disconfirming evidence, because that will probably be a learning opportunity for you. And, and yeah, so I think when things are hated and unloved, there's a decent chance there's mispricing. If the hate and if the hatred is not justified. And I think you have to do the work. If you do the work, you may get to a point where you say, I can see this differently than the way the market sees it. And I have a very high degree of confidence in, in that, that the way I'm seeing it is the correct way. And even then, you know, you might still be wrong half the time and you'll still do okay, even with 50% error rate. So that'd be okay too. 